Hey everyone, it's Aisha AK Lesh here of livinglesh.com and you are here on my YouTube channel and thank you so much for being here. On the Living Lesh YouTube channel, I'm constantly sharing a bunch of different things on different topics, including fashion, beauty, lifestyle, home, things on my podcast and travel. I do a lot of travel vlogs, which I'm super excited about because I'm traveling so many places from here. Like I've got some international travels that are coming up, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, but before we get into today's topic, I want you to remember to hit that subscribe button. You hit that subscribe button, you stay tuned with everything that's going on Living Lush, from me posting these videos that are longer, to me posting the shorts that I'm creating so many fun shorts videos too, so you'll get notifications about those if you turn those on by hitting that subscribe button and making sure you're staying connected. And then of course, I want you to go check out my other platforms. You can find me on my blog at livinglesh.com where you can also subscribe to my newsletter to get exclusive content there, as well as also follow me on my various different social media platforms, which I share various exclusive content. So you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, even Twitter, all under Living Lesh. That's L-I-V-I-N-G, L-E-S-H, Living Lesh. And you can connect with me also on the Shop LTK app if you're not familiar with that app, that's how you can actually buy some of my looks that I'm sharing on the, fa uh, the fashion uh, videos. You can also uh, find things that I use or took when I'm traveling. You can also, of course, find all the products that I'm sharing on my beauty videos, including using the links below in the description. So today we're actually getting into another one of my favorite topics, beauty. I do not say I am a makeup artist, so what you'll probably find on this channel a lot is very minimal amount of tutorials on makeup. I try things, I learn things, and I share it based off of just sharing how to use it on my own skin tone. But what you'll very much find is a lot of topics on skincare. Now, I'm not a skincare expert. I'm not an esthetician. Esthetician, how do you say that? I'm constantly butchered that word. But I am someone who will say I am a beauty skincare lover. I love taking care of my skin. This is the one thing that people see. Whether I put makeup on or not, I got to take care of my skin. I'm with this for forever. Beauty can change. Makeup can change. But skin, your skin is always your skin. So I try a variety of different products connected to my skin tone or skin tone as well as my skin type to see what works for me and what doesn't work for me and what keeps my skin looking firm, fresh, young, and super healthy to the point where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. My one favorite thing to do is actually not wear foundation, but wear a lot of tinted moisturizer where it looks like foundation because my skin is so healthy and I'm just adding a little bit of tint to even out the skin tone, but then it looks like it's foundation with just the tinted moisturizer and a little bit of powder. So today I'm actually getting into another brand that I have been trying for a while and I want to share my feedback on it. I'm sharing a full skincare routine and feedback on it on my blog. You'll find it connected to this uh, video in the description below where you'll find it all connected so you can go back and forth and see and also, like I said, shop the products if you're really interested in trying them out. But I'm here to talk about Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant is a brand that you can find at a lot of the big retailers, especially beauty retailers. My main beauty retailer that I shop at is Sephora. I occasionally go to Ulta. Um, and of course, I shop from my beauty products at Walmart and Target. But if I'm actually going to get makeup and a lot of skincare brands and even hair care, I go to Sephora just because it's where I can find a lot of the things I'm looking for in one place. Because um, I found that Ulta as well as Target, Walmart, um, don't always carry everything I'm looking for. Even if I'm going from, you know, I would say more affordable brands to more high-end brands. Um, so I shop all of these products at Sephora, and I've been using them for about two months now. Um, I've used other Drunk Elephant products, and I'll share about them um, as, you know, we go through this video. But I will say that the, the products that I'm going to show and share today in my routine are a part of the products that I've actually just continued using. So they're products that I've continued using. I've been using them, you know, straight solely for the past two months versus mixing them in with the other products that I use, just so I can share kind of the difference in the routine I use with Drunk Elephant. So as we are getting into all of this, I want to first go through my skincare routine, my day and night skincare routine, using exclusively Drunk Elephant products. So here we go. Anytime I'm going through my skincare routine, I always pull my hair back, not only to protect my hair, but I found that the dirt that is on my hair can transfer to my face while I'm doing my skincare routine. 
To start off my Drunk Elephant skincare routine, I'm using the Drunk Elephant Best Number 9 Jelly Cleanser. It is a gentle, non-stripping cleanser where it removes makeup, excess oil, grime, and pollution. With this cleanser, you can start using it with a dry face. I often opt to use it with a wet face. I wet my face first and then apply the cleanser to my face and neck area, making sure to work the product in before rinsing off. Then after rinsing my face, I take a cotton washcloth and gently dab my face to dry off any excess water and to remove any excess makeup. Then the next part of my skincare routine is using the serums. For the day, I'm using the C from a Fresh Vitamin C Day Serum, and then during the night, I'm doing the TLC Frambose Glycolic Resurfacing Night Serum. For it, I just gently turn it, pump a pump and a half into my hand, and then rub my hands together to be able to lightly pat in the product onto my face. I make sure not to rub padding around all of my face and into my neck area so that it absorbs lightly without overwhelming my skin. Now, if you are not used to vitamin C serums, it can be tingly at first, but I do promise you that you'll soon get used to it. Right after my serums, it's time to moisturize. I use the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Moisturizer with Ceramides, gently pulling off the top, getting a pump and a half, and again, rubbing it into my skin on my face as well as my neck to make sure it feels fully moisturized and very taken care of. I love this feeling because it's not like a thick, moisturizer, but it more feels just like it's gently gliding on. Then as the last part of my skincare routine with Drunk Elephant, during the day, I put on the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense of SPF 30. Whether it is hot outside, cold outside, I'm always putting on SPF because the sun is always out. And SPF is great to put on to protect your skin from the sun rays. And this product goes on super clear. I gently just rub it into my face and neck. And that is the end of my Drug Elephant Daily Skincare Routine. So now that you've seen my skincare routine, I wanna give some feedback on the products I've been using and also give you price points because of course everyone's always like, you know what, you're telling me this product is great, you're telling me it's okay, you're telling me it's something I could I could use for my own skin type. But then of course what I, I hate having people do, because I see it all the time on YouTube or even on like just recommendations on Instagram, like anywhere I'm going to look for, is I'll see everyone share about these products Sometimes I'll click the links or sometimes I like to go to the store because I like to see it and I get to the store I get to Sephora and I'm like, oh, I remember that brand um, So and so on that one channel was talking about it. Maybe I'll go check it out and then I pick up the product and I'm like Why is this a whole lot more than I expected it to be especially for the size it is so I I want to share with you all my feedback on the products as well as the price points so I first want to start with the first part of the skincare routine and that is the cleanser now like I said, this is the best day, best day, best, maybe it's called best, best number nine jelly cleanser. Now it says it's purifying and dissolve and it says that it's cantaloupe. So this, by giving a definition, it just says it's a jelly cleanser. It removes all traces of makeup, excess oil, pollution, and other grime from day to day. Now to back up a little bit before I go further into this product, Drug Elephant says that they make products for all types of skin types. Now, I am combination skin, so just keep that in mind as we go through these different um, these different products. I have found it works for my skin, but I haven't found that, like, I haven't talked to someone with oily skin or someone with dry skin to actually say it has. So if you're watching this and you got and try this or you have tried it and you are dry skin or you have oily skin, leave a comment below and just let everybody else know how it's actually worked for you. Because maybe it does work for every skin type or maybe it just works for combination skin. I have no clue. But... It just basically says kind of the same thing. You squeeze it into the palm and gently massage over wet or dry skin. I really only wash my face with water. Um, like I wet my skin first. I The only time I actually do washing over dry skin is if I use a balm to remove makeup. Um, and I haven't actually used this to remove makeup. I usually use the micellar water. And Drunk Elephant does have some. Um, but it's... A, a micellar water, and I'm probably mispronouncing it, I always do. It's one of those ones that are good, it's good to use, and it's not like, it's not a horrible product. It's just one of those products that when it runs out, if I have another brand of micellar water, or if I have a makeup removing balm, I'll use those before I feel like I have to go out and replace that. Like, you know, there's probably some products in your own 
um, collection, your skincare routine that you're like, you know, if I run out, I have to immediately go get that. Um, like I'm like that with fresh, the soy, um, cleanser, the soy cleanser from fresh beauty. I love that where if I run out, I usually go and get another one. I'll use some of the other ones in between, but I like love using that soy cleanser and it's like my must have for traveling. Like, especially when I have like, all these other elements when traveling and it's like a different air type. I'm like, I know I can rely on that cleanser versus like, you know, bringing in other cleansers that may have other, you know, things that happen. I have no clue. Listen, I just rely on my soy cleanser. But anyway, we're here about Drunk Elephant. So I've used this. It is a good cleanser. I mean, it ha it, it feels, my face feels clean afterwards. Um, but I will say I don't feel like this lasts as long as it should. This is $32 in this size. Um, and you probably can get like a month out of this. So I did say I was been using this for two months. This is my second one and I just started the new month. The other one ran out because I'm using this day and night. Now, if you're only using it one time in the day, then it might last longer. But if you're using this for your morning routine as well as your night routine, you're probably gonna get a month out of it. So just kind of plan that you're gonna be spending $32 just on the cleanser every month. So like I was kind of saying earlier, Drunk Elephant is one of the higher end brands. So as we're going through these different products, just kind of keep in mind that these are pricey. So you kind of have to figure out whether it's worth it. Um, for $32, again, I don't think it's horrible, especially comparing to a lot of other cleansers. A lot of cleansers are around that price point, especially for the really strong ones. Um, Drunk Elephant, Fresh Beauty. Um, I use Paul McGrath. I've used that before. Um, is it Paul McGrath? Pat McGrath, excuse me. Um, I've used... What I've been using recently, I've used Caudalie. So they're usually around that price. So just kind of keep in mind that this is a fair price for the amount and how long it lasts. I mean, I haven't really had a cleanser unless like the soy cleanser like I was saying for Fresh Beauty, you can get like a huge, like those pumping ones that last for forever. But if you're getting one this size, it's usually gonna last a month. So you're paying $32 on cleansers every month. I do like this. I do like the scent, the cantaloupe. It's not like a strong, overwhelming scent, but you can see that it's there. Um, but again, I'm not really sure whether it works. I mean, it cleans up the rest of the makeup I have on when I use it, because I do use micellar water, and then I kind of wipe it off, and I'm sure there's still left over. So my skin does feel very clean afterwards. So it works. It makes my skin feel clean. It gets rid of that excess oil that's on there, and it doesn't dry out my skin, which is always like my one biggest thing is I don't like washing my face and immediately feel like it's drying out my skin before I put the other products on. Like I still want to have feel like a, an essence of hydration because like even if I'm putting water, I'm washing it off, and then like the it just feels like it's stripped all of the oil off my face. It doesn't feel stripping. So it's a lot about that, but that's this product. Now. The second part of my, my skincare routine, day or night, is I use the serum. So I've been using these Drunk Elephant serums. These are pricey. Um, I have these smaller size. I think they come in bigger sizes. Um, I've just gotten the smaller sizes. Now the bigger sizes run around $70. So, or it's this size. I've gone to the store and I've just seen these. Um, I think these were on sale. So I think I got them for like $50, $60. Um, but they are a little bit expensive. Now they do last a little longer. These have last probably for the, the past two months and I'm sure there's some left. Um, now the night serum is called TLC Frambo's Glycolic Night Serum. And it has a AHA BHA blend. And it tells you in the evening, apply to clean, dry face, neck, chest, back of hands, avoiding the eye area. I only use it on my face and my neck. Um, it's supposed to refine and retexturize. And then for the C Firma Day Serum, which is has vitamin C in it, it's a revolutionary vitamin C serum. Um, it says it has 15% L-ascorbic acid. And then it talks about how in the morning, apply to clean dry face, neck, chest, back of hands. Again, I only use it on my face and my neck. Um, it's funny, I love the colors it comes out in because like I'm so used to using a vitamin C serum that comes out with like a, a tint of orange. This one comes up super orange. Um, and I love the way they open. I don't know, I just find it so fun that they open this way. So you put like a little bit on there and it does feel like it's doing very well. Now, in comparison to other vitamin C serums I use, I use a lot of vitamin C serums for my day routine. 
Um, and right now I hop between this drunk elephant one as well as the, is it pharmacy? Pharmacy. Pharmacy Beauty Vitamin C Serum. Um, I just love both of them. The, this one doesn't, like there's some vitamin C serums, especially if you're not used to using vitamin C on your face, it can feel like it's warm. So the pharmacy one, when I put it on, does feel like it's warming my face as it's absorbing. This doesn't feel like that. So I don't know whether it's just doing less or my face is just super used to it or it's the blend. So if that's someone where like you're like, I've used vitamin C serums and I don't like that warming feel it does to my face, this won't do that. At least it hasn't done it to my face. So if that's in the way you're like, I still want my vitamin C serum, which I highly recommend putting in your skincare routine, then this would be for you. Um, for the price, I think it's a little bit pricey. Um, again, it's one of these products that I do enjoy and I get it when it's on sale. But like if I have other ones to choose from, I'll go for those if they're a better price for like brands that I trust in, um, that I use. Um, and you can see on my blog the different um, skincare brands that I love and use. And I share a bunch of different skincare brands on um, my channel. So you can go check those out and hear about those. Um, but it's one of those ones that if I have it, great. If I don't have it, I'll use something else in the meantime. I'm not running out to give it and spend, you know, a lot of money on these. Um, so that's that for those serums. Uh, the next part of my skincare routine is with the Drunk Elephant products is using this la la retro whipped cream it's a rescue and recover and it has six african oils in it and ceramides um it is a pump part of it so the only thing i don't like about this packaging is that every once in a while because it's like the third one I've, I've had over the past couple of years that like when it starts getting low one you can't really tell and two it just pumps out weird um and you can see you can have seen that from when um i was in my skincare routine but of course, like at the end, you can kind of just unscrew it and take it out if you need to. So sometimes I actually just unscrew it and use it like that. Otherwise, you can use the pump. It does come apart. Um, and then, of course, same way you kind of take it, put it on your face, put it on your neck. And it is very creamy. So you don't need a lot to put on there. It comes on, um, doesn't feel thick. So it is a cream that doesn't feel thick. So I like that whipped cream aspect of it. It doesn't feel like whipped cream as you think like, oh, I'm gonna put some whipped cream on some ice cream. It just feels like it's lighter. Um, and I wanna say frothier. Frothier is not really the, the word I wanna use, but it just feels lighter. It doesn't feel like, you know, you have some creams that are moisturizer that come on, they feel like, you feel like you're putting a layer on your skin and I hate that. And usually like I'll avoid creams for that reason. I like the other, like, you know, the ones that are like jelly moisturizers or they're really light and you've probably seen them. Um, but this one's not horrible. Um, this is on the higher side. It's around 60 something dollars as well. Um, but it does last for quite some time. Um, and it is one like as a cream I enjoy. Um, so I'll typically, if I'm like mixing together different brands and different products based off of what I have in my skincare collection at the time and using in my routine, um, I'll usually use this solely at night. I like using creams more at night and I like using more um, hydration jelly um, moisturizers during the day. So this is one that like if you get it for just solely using the night type, it'll last you for a while, especially because you're not usually wanting to layer a lot of moisturizer on your face at night. Um, versus like in the day, you're putting a little bit more into it, especially because I also use hydration masks at night. So I'll let the hydration mask go in and then I'll put the moisturizer over. And also at night, I use a... Um, a steeper. So I'm getting a lot more hydration in my skin, so I don't have to use as much moisturizer because the hydration's already locked in. Just put the moisturizer over top of it just to kind of seal all of it in. So this will last, um, last about three months with the, the, um, the combination I use when I use other brands. But if I'm using this only by itself, it'll last me about like a month and a half just to kind of give you an essence of that. Now, the last part of my skincare routine that I only do during the day is I put on this Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Protection. It says SPF 30. It is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Now, this is the regular one. There is also one that is a tinted one that I have used, um, and these run about 32. So between this and the cleanser, these are more the um, more affordable products in Drunk Elephant. Everything else is usually about 60 and above. Uh, I mean, the lowest you're probably going to find is like 30 something dollars with the Drunk Elephant. Um, but like I said, this is with the blue 
blue decor is the one without any tinting to it. The other one, there's another one, I forget what color is. I think it's in like a tan, but it is, um, it is tinted. I didn't really like the tinted one, especially because when I put the tinted on, it didn't really look tinted. It's not a tint that is for every skin tone. Um, it is on the lighter side of the skin, uh, the, the tint. So I usually go for tinted moisturizers that kind of match closer to the foundation color I would use that match, um, to my skin tone because I want it to even out my skin. That's what I usually use for tinted moisturizers. I want it to in, even out my complexion so I can wear it without using foundation. Um, but if you're someone who's putting foundation over on top of it anyway, it's not like it's a huge tint, so it's not going to like put a, a really white undertone underneath it. So if it's somewhere where you're like, I'm going to put foundation on under, uh, over anyway, so you can use that. But I just go with this one. Um, if you don't have an SPF in your routine, you need to get one. I'll tell you that now. I tell that to everybody. I talk about skincare. You need to have an SPF. I don't care if it's not sunny outside or it's like cold. The sun comes out. Let me put it back that way. I don't care if it's the middle of winter. I don't care if it's the fall. The sun comes out. Just because it's not hot outside doesn't mean there are not sun rays hitting your face. You need SPF. That is the one thing where people go, you know, how do you keep your skin looking so healthy and young? And I'm like, I use sunscreen. The sun damages your skin. Yes, it puts, you know, healthy aspects into it. You know, you get that, you get your vitamin C. The sun does that. It gives you healthy aspects. But remember that when your skin's bringing it in to do its work to get the, the nutrients in your body, it's aging your skin. It's just what it does. It has to work. So SPF helps to kind of balance the, that work and puts hydration back in your skin. It just kind of helps to get that sunscreen so you're not overdoing it. Um, you put this on afterwards, face, neck. Um, I do like this product. I think it does very well with protection. The one thing that I don't like about this is it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. I just do it in the day before I go outside. Um, and it says reapply at least every two hours. I've had other SPS for the face that like, um, so you don't have to reapply it. And I don't know if it's just saying they just don't tell you to reapply it or if I'm just not reading in between the lines or if it just does better what's staying on. Um, but I'm one that I only apply this one time a day. If I am going to the beach, I'll bring another sunscreen for my face. This is not like something where I'm like relying on it to go to the beach. I'm using it just for day to day wear. And that's why I would recommend it for just day to day wear. If you are going to the beach and you're going to plan on sitting in the sun, I would bring a stronger face sunscreen. This is just a daily defense screen. It's not a full sunscreen for your face. You need to get a sunscreen for your face if you're going to the beach. Um, but for the price, I think it's pretty solid. Um, so overall, I mean, Drunk Elephant is a higher end brand. Personally, for me, it's not a brand where I'm going to go, yes, I have to have Drunk Elephant in my collection of skincare products at all times. When I run out, I'm immediately going to get it. That's not me. But if I see it on sale, it's one that I'll go get it because I do enjoy their products. I do think they do very well. I think they do great for my skin. I love what I see. Um, and I do usually mix it in with my other brands. They do very well with not combating other brands and other products. I know there are like some products and other brands where like if you use them with something else, it like fights it and it's like they just don't work with each other. Um, but I have used Drunk Elephant with Fresh Beauty, with um, Pharmacy, with Bliss, with Caudalie. I've used it with all the different brands that I have in my own skincare, like Glow Recipe, um, Kiehl's. As you can see, I use a lot of skincare products from different brands that I just, I love. I love. I just, I have only found a few skincare. I won't say I've only found a few. I found a collection of beauty or skincare brands that I don't like. But the ones I'm naming are the ones that I'm like, yes, if someone gives them to me for a gift, they're on sale, I'm probably going to go grab some. And again, that's legit drunk elephant. If I see it on sale, if I, someone gives it to me, I am going to use it because... I love them. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to put them in. It's just something. And I don't use the word, like I keep saying love. I enjoy them. Um, it's, it's a good brand to use. So if you have any questions, further questions about the products, make sure you check out my blog post. Again, it's in the description about the full aspects of my drunk elephant 
skincare routine um, and how I've used it exclusively only drunk elephant products um, I share in that blog post and my review today with basically using the products exclusively on there on exclusively drunk elephant products in my skincare routine for the past couple months um, but now I'm going to go back to my regular skincare routine because I like my new normal skincare routine um, but make sure you check out that blog post if you have any questions further leave a comment um, on this video or leave a comment on the blog post I'd be happy to answer them and again make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay connected with going on living lush I thank you for stepping by I hope that this review has helped you has given you a little bit more insight and help you make a decision of whether you're going to add drunk elephant to your skincare routine make sure again to stay connected so that you can see more beauty reviews skincare reviews aspects on travel aspects on fashion hauls all of those are in between and I thank you for coming by See ya.